Into your star cast for India and Pakistan in their lineup. First, the Indian team, Krishna Machari, Srikant, Sunil Gavaskar, Vinkarkar, Keith Yazad, Kapil Dev, the captain, Chetan Sharma, Ravi Shastri, the all-rounder, Pandit, the keeper, Mohammad Azruddin, batting really low down the order, Madan Lal and Maninda Singh. For Pakistan, it was Mudassar Nazar, Mohsin Khan, the two openers, Ramiz Raja, Jawed Niyadat, Salim Malik, Abdul Qadir, the leg spinner, Imran Khan was the captain, Manzoor Alai, the all-rounder, Wasim Akram, the left-arm medium pacer, and Zulkarnan, along with Tossi Khan. Pakistan won the toss and put India in. The action is just about to begin. Tony Lewis to describe the first four. Imran Khan to Shrikant, and the contest begins. Pakistan will have Imran Khan to bowl and Wazim Akram at the other end. Mansur Elahi is the third seamer. And then the two spinners, Abdul Qadir and Tosi. <laughs> India off the mark. With the leg bite. He's not 100% fit. He must be a, a, an amazing player when he is. Yeah. That was a super shot. Yeah. Then for the perfect half volley and when he got after when he early on and he seen the ball obviously quite well, pushed it past the bowler, made on for a beautiful four, getting off the mark with a bang. wicket India. Pakistan won the toss this morning, have put India into bat. We're in the second over. <laughs> All well bowled. No ball called though by the umpire. Yeah, that was a no ball. A lot of excitement in the crowd. But, uh, no damage done in any case. But I thought only that these bouncers, shouldn't they be declared wide or this is also the different rule here? I think you'd find that West Indian umpires are a little more lenient about that. Hmm. Again, well bowled by Wazi Makram. I don't think he enjoyed being hit before by Gavaskar. And he didn't pitch it up again in the over. So the score after two overs. India put into bat, seven without loss, Ganaskar four and Shrikant one. Yeah. Imran Khan to Ganaskar. Oh, outside edge, but one or two bounces before it reached Manzur Elahi at first slip. Interesting bowling by Imran. He showed them a couple of in swingers which came in from outside the off stump early on, and they all since then seem to be playing inside the line a little, expecting the ball to move into them. Imran's line much better today than it was in the last match against New Zealand, where he was rather wayward down the leg side. Does he have to do to get a wicket? Yeah, this one again, straighten up the ball, straighten up. How fragile if they can fully try to play at it, beaten comprehensively. Fortunately for uh, Gavaskar, didn't get a snake, otherwise he would have been in serious trouble. Still, I don't think Tony uh, Imran is really bowling at his full pace. He's trying probably to concentrate on line and a uh, little movement that he can get in the initial overs. Yes, I quite agree. It's intelligent bowling, economical bowling, and might well have taken wickets. At 
wickets. Seven overs have been bowled by Pakistan. The score is 16 for no wicket. Thank you, Ram. Good morning, everyone. Kerry Khan's facing Manzoor. And that's up in the air, but clear of both the fielders. It's going to be four runs to the mid-wicket pen. And this fine opening Indian partnership now beginning to blossom. a lovely shot, four runs, over long now, beautifully played by Sherry Khan, and just look at the crowd enjoying it. This is superb cricket. And that's beautifully placed, wonderfully fielded. That's great cricket. Lovely shot, good bit of fielding. Gavaskar gets another run. 35 for no wicket. India having been put into bat when Pakistan won the toss. That's hammered away. Over, cover, four runs. No chance. For anyone to cut that one off, that ball short and Terry Khan gave it all he had and he had plenty and at four runs, India 39 for no wicket in the 11th over and Terry Khan now really cutting loose. 23 to him. Shot. What a great shot to start. Yes, magnificent shot from Sirikan. Actually, if the car, they were trying to bounce him, but the length and the line of that delivery both were outside the off stump. The first one was way outside the off stump, and Sirikan, instead of pulling it to the left side, very rightly square cut him over the point region. Second bouncer was a little bit on the, uh, on the straight line, on the middle stump, and Javed Miyadad right on the line at the square, deep square leg boundary uh, was waiting for a catch but Sirikan played it towards the mid wicket and uh, two very good shots from Sirikan of course put India into a commanding position at this stage and that's a great shot, four runs through the covers No one moved a muscle as that one flashed past between cover and mid off, bisecting them. And what tremendous placement from the master. That had a touch of class, that shot, and a touch of genius. India 49 for no wicket. Gavaskar facing Manzoor. Been played away out to deep square, four runs, and that's India's 50. What a magnificent way to bring up the 50 of the inning. A steady start by the Indian openers, putting up the 50, and Gavaskar looking in very good form. See you after the break. To be with Seema Akram. To go to Sri Khan. That's stoppage, four runs. That truck two covers is a fielder there, first bound to Ramiz Raja. Bad throw, but Gulkanen does very well to take it. Only one. That's in there. That should be four runs over backward point.
carefully played outside the off stump and driven on the up a slightly angled bat and went sailing over the head of Salim Malik at backward point for four Majority of runs for Sirikan has come from the offside, especially in cover region. They got a ball at his legs. Might be another four, but Seema Kram is unable to cut it off. Four runs. Good improvisation by Srikan. He was on the front foot. Then he delayed that shot and played it to the left of backward point and got another four. Fine stroke play by this talented Indian opener. He's 49, India 82 without loss. We are in the 18th over. That's his 50. his second successive 50 and it's come in only 59 balls Mushtaq. Yes, a magnificent exhibition of stroke play by Shurikan who has been very severe anything outside your stump and has taken full advantage of Pakistan bowlers who keep bowling a bad line. Driven past the bowler, there will be one. Gavaskar quite happy to keep the strike rotating and give as much of it to Srikant, not only because Srikant is going great gun, but also because Gavaskar is slightly handicapped because of a bad back. Thank you, Hadi. A match of Interesting transformations. Pakistan opening bowling, restricting Gavaskar and Srikant, and then they broke loose, and now they're a little more shackled by spin. Just a single. 93 for no wicket, India. Tremendous start by Gavaskar and Srikant. And at that important stage, the first change of bowling, so panic set into the Pakistan ranks, and medium pace bowlers were dropping it short, and they're being hooked and cut, and completely lost control. a magnificent blow by Shrikant and that's six runs great shot by Shrikant quite a delivery from Abdul Qadir Shrikant came down the wicket and lofted it right over uh, the bowler's head for six what a delight it is to watch this young man that Sunil Gavaskar and that bad back Billions in trouble maybe great doubts about Gavaskar's fitness for this match overnight oh that's higher still a mighty blow by Srikant six runs again magnificent blow once again a 
slighted delivery from uh, Hagir. I think it was Gugli and uh, Srikant hit it right over, high into the air, over the bowler's head for six. An excellent start by India, an opening partnership of 107 between Sunil Gavaskar and Chris Srikant at almost five runs and over. We'll take a short break, back in a moment. <laughs> Atmosphere is electric with Pakistan playing India. Sunil Gavaskar and Chris Srikant have just posted a 100-run opening stand. Four runs have been added as we rejoin Chilewis. It's in the air, but Sally Malik can't stop it. But he runs very quickly indeed after it. Good bit of fielding. Salim has forced a dive for that, he's got a half hand to it, it's half stopped. So he had to jump to his feet again, sprint to the boundary, and that was well worth it. Three runs to Shrikant, 114 for no wicket. And Abdul Qadir finding the story a little different. He bowled two overs for three runs, then 15 runs off the third over, and he's struggling again in his fourth. significant run because 115 runs for the opening partnership beats the record first wicket partnership at Sharjah which was scored by Desmond Haynes and Richie Richardson for the West Indies against India that was uh, last November it finds a space Javed me and dad Two more to Shrikant. It's in the air. Will that be caught? Yes, that's caught by Wazi Makram. So Shrikant has gone caught. Wazi Makram, Bol Abdul Kader for 75. India 117 for the loss of one wicket. But there'll be tremendous applause for this man. Quite a hero. The wicket which Pakistan desperately needed has come. A flighted delivery from Kadir again. Uh, Srikant came down the wicket and holds it out to Wasim Akram. A great innings by Srikant. That's the replay. Flight of delivery. And there's Srikant going for the big one. A little bit of bottom man in that. And hold it out to Wasim Akram at long on. Interesting thing there, Ranjit, was that Wasim Akram actually slipped and skidded under it as he was going to catch it. But he kept his eye on the ball. And there would be looking for somewhere around 240, 250. Because it's a good batting track. The best that we've seen in the tournament so far. They've got nine wickets in hands and 19 overs. Could be a leg by. Say this. 146. For this match now really building up. And as Vankshaka gets another single, it's obvious it's going to be a high-scoring game. Assuming Pakistan chased the Indian total well. So, the crowd in for some great cricket. The building applause for the possibility of Gavaskar's 50. And that is it. A superb 50 from the master. Stamping his class on this tournament. And 
in this particular match. The crowd has favored and loved every minute of it. What a wonderful inning. Turning from deep point, and that's 150 for India. 150 in the 33rd over. Beautifully past first slip and backward point. Just cut inside the boundary line by Salim Malik. Long chase. Two more to Ben Sarkar, who now is stroking the ball beautifully as well. That's the Pakistan manager sitting there, along with Mrs. Uh, Miadad. One to hit the moment it left Gossi's hand. He charged down the wicket and it went over big wicket for six. No doubt about that. Now. India now 160 for one. Out to deep mid wicket again. And Gavaskar. Now to face, but Vang Sarkar really is almost catching up with him. Vang Sarkar is 31, Gavaskar is 50. One more. And it's 166. Gavaskar moves on to 51. India scoring freely and at well. Really dominating the proceedings at the moment. And that's up in the air. He could be out. Caught by Javed Miyadat at deep mid wicket. And he's dropped. Dropped by Javed Miyadat, who had all the time in the world to get under it. And you had a wonderful view of it. Let's watch it again. High it goes, and Miyadat had plenty of time to adjust himself. Came into his hand, and it popped out. 167 for the loss of uh, only one wicket at the end of the 35th with Venkatar on 35 and Gavaskar on 32. Well, Venkatar has the right attitude. He's trying to force the best and trying to hit the ball off the ground. Uh, this one probably did not really come on to his bat and went high up in the air where uh, Jaudhmi and that did get under the ball but a safe fielder like him this Played away down to long leg. Ramiz retrieving it. And 169 for one. Two more to Gavaskar who's on 54. Gavaskar comes down the wicket. And four runs to the log on boundary. Beautifully played. And I think now both batsmen going for the final onslaught. With only 15 overs left.
28 for one in 40 overs. The 200 up. <laughs> 200 in 40.3 overs which makes it just a shade below five at this stage of the game. That's a great pass the bowler. Great shot, Nassim Akram may be able to cut it off. Yes, he does. Brilliant bit of fielding. Two runs. Great field of Asim Akram Mustak. They will probably come back for the second. Manzuri Lai, the fielder. Yes, they are coming back for second and they'll make it easily. We must be playing marbles in Lahore. Positioning himself between the stumps and Mudasa. That's in the air and he's dropped by Imran. A sit up. Well, well, what one can say about this? A sitter, as you'll see now. There is Vasim Akram pitching, not allowing any room to Gavaskar. Scramped up, middle and off. Went for a drive, straight knee high, and Imran missed just the, flat, the height of the ball, and that's just <coughs> thing he hit the fing fingertip of his hand and went down. The second catch dropped by Pakistan and by two of its finest fielders, Miyadad and Imran. and one of the greatest one-day games ever played. Sunil Gavaskar has been dropped by Pakistan captain Imran Khan and is looking set for his first hundred in Sharjah. $50,000 later, but he got his 50 in 62 balls. Fine inning, Mushtaq. Yes, very well paced. Kept going with Gavaskar from the other end. And uh, well timed. He picked his singles, he took his chances, and he came off. That's not four runs. Beautifully timed. Imran's bowling figures, seven overs, two maidens, 24 runs, and no wicket. He bowled him. That's the perfect ball, the Yorker. And so, Vince Sarkar, after a very finely played 50, is bowled by Vandy McCrum. And in your 216 for two in the 44th over. Yes, a fine delivery from Mr. Akram. There he is. Trying to put, put the ball in the block hole. 
Selfish step, you walked in. Very difficult time to go into bat. Six overs to go and the crowd demanding beginning. It has been spectacular entertainment. Macram for North and the complexion changes. 216 for three in the 44th over. Oh, that's beautifully played by Keppel. Imran deciding to pull one down, drop it a little short, but there was no lift there and Kettle stood up straight and played a straight batted pull shot. Bisected the men on the boundary, so that's a happy event for him. Four runs to Kettle. It's the end of the over. 225 the engine total for the loss of three wickets. Gavaskar, 87 not out. Kettle's got six. The, pin, the pitch not quite so uh, responsive to spin today. As Mushtaq has been saying, a couple of days to prepare a good sound batting track. All balls in. So a further blow for Pakistan as Imran bowls Kettle Dev. Very difficult to say what happened but Mushtaq had a better view. He's either up the wrong line or it might have been Yes, Kapil was Expecting the ball, bending into him, but it was the away swinger. You see it for yourself now. Imran jumping close to the stump, pushing the ball, and it left him. And I think Kapil played the wrong line. The ball pitched off stump and hit off stump. A very good delivery. And in fact, Pakistan bowlers have been bowling well for the last five overs under the pressure. They picked up three valuable wickets. And didn't concede many runs. Had they done this before, early on in the inning, they wouldn't have been chasing 230 at this stage. Another full toss. Chitan Sharma. And coming out after scoring 92, a magnificent knock, a brilliant exhibition of stroke play, good running between wickets, and 92 on the board, putting his country, India, right into driving seat. The USA, Imran coming into ball, aiming it to his leg, hits his, hits his Back, foot, back leg and then you can show off to the off stump. Gets his third wicket, let's watch it again. And Shasti, quite rightly, going for his shot. Trying to play him through the offside field. Leg some cartwheeling through the air. 245 for six. In the 50th over. Gavaskar 92 and Sirikant 75 and Ventaka 50. Wasi Makram got one more delivery to go.
say to Mohsen, and that could be a run out, and he is. So the seventh wicket is down, and it's all over at the end of the 50th. It's 245, an average fractionally below five and over for the Pakistani batsman to go for. There you see Vasim Akram coming to bow, trying to aim it. Uh, another Yorker, who's a uh, batsman turning it around. Mohsen did well to come in, pick the ball, and it's straightforward throw. And the other batsman is way out of space. Sherma was run out. A very good start by the Indian openers. Krishnamachari Srikant getting 75 of 80 balls. Sunil Manhor Gavaska getting 92 of 134 balls. Dilip Wayne Sarkar also getting a 50 from just 64 balls. India ended up with 245 from 50 overs for the loss of 7. It is quite an uphill task for Pakistan, but I don't think it is beyond their capability. And seeing the wicket, easy pace wicket, offering no assistance whatsoever to the pace as well as the spin, if Pakistan can fly themselves to remain in their hand, try and get the wicket to maintain the tempo, they should be able to make a fight of it. Mudassar facing Kapil. And that's through the covers. It's going to be four runs. Glorious cover drive. And if this is the tone, and if this is the tempo, then this match is going to be something to remember. Seven overs, India was 16. Pakistan at 12 for one. And that's going to be four runs out to the square leg boundary. Well played by Mohsen. sort of risk. I think that was the best game I ever played because I, when I was playing, I wasn't thinking I could have won the I won the game that uh, in that uh, the way that we were playing because on the 260 or four or something and we lost four wicket early and then I was just playing to 
play all the full overs, 50 overs, we might lose, but at least we will lose respectively. Javed Miyadad and Mohsin. Mohsin is batting superbly, he's 22, and Raja bowled by an armour from Maninda for 10, and Pakistan 39 for 2, as Miyadad, who hasn't had a bat in this championship so far, yes. goes on to face Maninda. Javed Miyadad was a great cricketer, he was a tremendous improviser, Technically not very sound, but mentally he was very tough. And that is what you really need at international level. I feel 10% of uh, talent and 90% of heart. You've got to have a big heart. And that is what Javed Miyanar had. And that is why he had such a good time in charge. First run to Miyanar. In fact, there should be two, maybe three. Vinny is coming round from deep backward square leg, two long legs, uh, coming back for the third. So they'll have to hurry. Plenty of excitement in this over. Three runs then to Mehadad, Pakistan, 42 for two. We are in the 12th over. shot by Mohsin. Four runs. It was from, uh, I think the game started at 9 and finished at 5. From 9.05 till 5 to 5, India was winning. And we were down and out. around the ground as Pakistan reach 50 for a loss of two wickets. I did believe that we would have won the match, but I think you won't believe Javid Mehendad when he was batting. They were losing wickets at regular intervals. And uh, we thought, okay, we have still won the match quite easily. But very surprisingly, Javid had a lot of confidence in himself. He kept on begging the guys and the other and he said, just please guys, one of you guys just stay with me. I'll win the match, I'll win the match. And that is a kind of tremendous confidence Javed had in himself and it's quite surprising because we all thought he must be talking to his hat because we were getting wickets at regular intervals and the run rate was going up, the asking rate was going five, at one point it went up to six, seven also it went up. And getting an asking rate of six, seven runs and over even today is a, a considered a big uh, asking rate. But somehow Javed had a lot of confidence in himself. <laughs> Capital has the game reasonably under control at the moment, but uh, he'll be aware that Pakistan are picking up singles at will, and the total of 246 to win this match is certainly on if two batsmen get stuck in. Be mad with himself. The singles were coming, even up to four and over, and he played across the line, got a bottom edge, and over went the stumps. Swept away, kept down well. Sharma at long leg. Two more. Good return by Sharma. 96 for three.
nicely fielded by Kapil. Loping strides, closes on to the ball. That's the fourth run in this over. Pakistan's asking right now over six runs and over. 97 for three. Pick up and return by Kapi. That's one and a hundred. A hundred for Pakistan. Coming in the 28th over. And there are three wickets down. We were losing wickets. I remember I got out early, a few of the other batsmen. So it was Javed versus India, basically. And he was taking his time. Was you know, getting the singles here and there and would be lucky finding the gap and finding a boundary. But it was sort of such a such a quality innings that had a lot of method. And, it, and when he actually won the game for Pakistan, it was truly, uh, and still uh, maybe, probably one of the all-time great one-day knocks ever. The chance of a run out, yes, an easy run out, yes, that's it. That's a full toss and swung around to the deep and wide mid on boundary four runs. Bad ball by Madan. That'll take a lot of pressure off from Khadib. He's got off the mark. But a ranked bad ball from Madanlal and Pakistan are 116 for four. The batsman out, as you can see on the scoreboard on the right side, Nosim Khan out to 36, Mudassar for five, Ramiz Raja for 10, Salim Malik for 21, Miyadad on 38 and Khadib on four are together. Coming back into the attack, Kapil so far has bowled five overs. One of them, a maiden, no wickets for 16 runs. But quite an expert in one-day cricket, like Imran and Wazi Makram we saw this morning, usually able to get the ball right up into the block row. Last five minutes, I mean, I mean only last ball. Even not before that, not seven hours, I would say only one minute. In seven hours, last minute, it gave us something to Pakistan. The runs to win, with hardly three or four wickets in hand. And even then I thought we would win the match. And uh, I guess uh, that day it was uh, Javed's day and uh, we could not stop him at all. <laughs> the gap and that's going to be four runs. Four off the silver so far. That's a big hit. And well picked up by Maninder Singh. Now that really was well run. It was going to his right hand, not his strong hand, but a safe pick up for the some Bumpy ground out there, and a safe return. Contributions along the line from Mosin Khan, 36, and Sully Malik. Capital to Abu Kabir. Who's the 
substitute fielder. A bit of a slog. Abdul Kader realizing the run rate required was creeping. Yes, it is. For the short of length, and Abdul Kader went right under it. And Madan Lara. Raman Lama took a very well just catch. I like to play some kind of inning which everybody remembers and I'm sure even I went to India after that or still um, whenever I tour or meet Indian people they still remember those uh, that game and even Pakistan so whenever my name comes people still remember I think uh, they, nobody have forget, forgotten that match That's a six cricket would probably say that was out of the ground. It was certainly is. You're right in the middle of Sahara Desert somewhere, I would say. A magnificent glow and this kind of acceleration is needed at the moment. And Javed is the right man to do it because he's been at the wicket for, for more than two hours and uh, he's seen the ball well. And that's where the ball went, those people outside the ground. I don't know who caught it there, but it certainly went and landed there. And that could be four runs. Yes, it is. A classic shot by uh, Niyadad. And this is what Niyadad can do. Why he is ranked as the finest player, one of the finest players in the game today. Suddenly, with a blaze of hitting, he's brought everyone to his feet and waiting for the next delivery from Madan Lal. 208 now, 38 required, the game alive again. And with this innings of Niyadat, he's literally overcome virtually all the shortcomings of Pakistan. He's brought Pakistan within striking distance, but still the distance fairly large. 208. And that's cut away square of the wicket. Still some deliveries to go in this over. runs in this over and can Imran strike another blow Bowled and it's Madan Lal who strikes the blow sensation here 209 for 6 now Manzoor live facing Chetan Sharma up in the air, he could be out caught, and he's gone. Sashi takes a great catch, and keeps it up. Andhulilai is gone, 215 for 7. Back comes Mandu. Let's watch the dismissal again. There you are, Mr. Sharma. Pushing ball right up into having a one mighty hit. Went flat and Sri Shastri ran about 10 yards in and took the catch knee high. A very well just catch. And once again India looked favourite. And Javed is soon running out of partners. He's going to take majority strike. And it'll be interesting to see how the challenge is going to respond to Javed by giving him the majority of the strike. The Miyadad is on 90. The field spreading out and that's what 
India should do. Prevent the boundaries. And that's up in the air. And it's going to be a six. It is. Over Kapil Dev. At long on into the crowd. The last over coming up. And Pakistan required a classic because after all, this was the mother of all one day internationals. From me until next time, goodbye. Here's Javed. This is cricket. Once you go and uh, uh, keep playing or copy the crease, so you never know. You might win the game single handedly. And uh, uh, this is a happen. I think that was like a film, something going on. And uh, dream, and there was after that game so many got a heart attack, people die, and it was so tense game. And uh, I mean, if people dying like that, I don't want to play a game like that. Thank <laughs> you.